Jen's gonna have a Merry Christmas. Doesn't matter if YouTube sucks. Hey, V Butts, I'm back and welcome to the North Pole. You gotta express your elf. <laughs> Doesn't it look Christmassy? There's pillows. Today we're gonna be doing a bit of crafting because I've decided I'm gonna make some more Jumbo Bee Butts Hot Cocos for my kids. And I figured, hey, maybe you guys would like to watch or make your own. First things first, if you have no idea what I'm talking about, feel free to click on this link somewhere over here to find the video with the Bee Butts Hot Cocoa. Second thing is this is a very easy craft, beginner even, and uh, although I'm gonna have a lot of things on the table and it might seem like it's overwhelming, I promise you it's really not. I am just a complicated person and I like to overcomplicate things for absolutely no reason whatsoever. Just watch the video and if you wanna make one, it'll be a lot simpler for you, I promise. Let's get our materials. You are going to need Bristol board. I plan on making more than one today, so I have quite a few. This is gonna get covered, so it really does not matter what color you choose, but typically the dollar stores offer a two for one dollar deal on white, so I have white. Next up, you will need some wrapping paper. And honestly, you can use whatever wrapping paper you like. If you want it to look fancy and more classic, then go with something fancy and more classic. But since my kids are currently obsessed with Toy Story and Aladdin, that's what I have here today. Also purchased at the dollar store. The next item I have are printouts of my Bee Butts Hot Cocoa logo, which I'm gonna share for you guys. And you'll be able to copy that picture and paste it in paint or Word or Photoshop, whatever you choose to use, and print it out in whatever size you want. Oh, that one's sideways. There you go, aren't they cute? This is the original logo and uh, I I love her, she's not going anywhere. To get this size right here, I took my picture, put it in Microsoft Office or Word, and then changed the margins to the thinnest ones possible, switch the orientation of the page to landscape, select view, and then click grid lines. That way you can slowly adjust the size of the image to the absolute biggest it can go without getting chopped off by the borders. And then boom, you got yourself the perfect size logo, which is sideways, for a jumbo Bee Butts Hot Cocoa in this specific proportion. Or, you know, you can make your own logo of whatever you want or none at all. Next, we're gonna need some small things, which includes scissors, packing tape, scotch tape, or you can just cut smaller packing tape. I told you I was convoluted. A stapler, eventually a recycled brown piece of cardboard or paper bag so that we can top our cocoa and it would look like hot chocolate. And then later on, you can add tissue paper to make it fun or wrap whatever surprises you put inside. Now, we start crafting. We don't need this stuff yet. <laughs> Step one, cut the elastic off your Bristol board like you don't care about nothing. I don't know where that went. Next, I'm going to measure with my fingers because I'm a pro and I'm just gonna cut along the top exactly two fingers width. And it's probably gonna go crooked, that's okay with me. And there we go. Now you should have one long piece of white Bristol board and one big rectangle. Next, we're gonna roll the Bristol board in on itself to create a cup shape. And I want you to think Starbucks. So you want it to be more narrow at the bottom than it is at the top. I know it looks funny, but you're gonna sort of do it like this. Once you're happy with your shape, staple it, basically. And ta-da! Now we have a cup. Next, we're gonna take our packing tape and tape down the side of our Bristol board. I'm also gonna add some to the bottom where I put the staples. That way, nothing will get ruined when we put things inside. So we're gonna tape it to prevent that and also to secure the staples longer. Now, I haven't forgotten the top of my cup where I left it wider. I'm gonna use tape on both sides to create a fake wall there. Like it never even happened. There we go. Now, it might be hard to tell on the camera, but both the top and bottom are not level. So I'm gonna quickly clean that up with some scissors. And just like that, we're ready to wrap it. So now, you gotta pick your paper. You can't see me. Whoa, what's happening with my hair? This part's pretty simple. Just cut a giant piece of paper and wrap it around and tape it. Let's see, how much will we need? Let's hope I cut enough. Did I? Oh, so close. <gasps> For rails. Okay, I might put it on the diagonal. Oh, that's so worse. Oh, I'm a bad cutter. Okay, that's okay. We'll fix it. We'll fix it. I do it this way. Ha ha! Jen's succeeding in life. Oh, it's sideways. Okay, that's not gonna work. All right, if you like clean lines like I do, then make sure you drop your other wrapping paper, then make sure you tape on the back, or at least try. This is what you should have so far. I did cut off all the excess paper up here and trim off the bottom. That way we have extra paper to wrap surprises later. Now I've tucked in the top, but I'm not gonna do anything up there for now. We're gonna want that overhang later. And on the bottom, I am tucking it in, but I'm gonna secure it with tape. That way it stays nice and clean looking. And now that our cup is ready to go, we're just gonna add our logo to the front. I am gonna be adding a band later, so I'm gonna put it probably down around there, but 
but you know, straight. You could totally use double-sided sticky tape if you have it for this, but uh, since I don't, I won't. There we go. I don't even think it's super crooked, so that's excellent. You can add as much or as little tape to this as you'd like. It really doesn't matter to me, but for the best results on printing, I definitely recommend using a toner printer if you have it, or get one printed off at Staples, because it will just make it super glossy and vibrant. But otherwise, you do you. What I'm gonna do now is move on to plugging up the bottom. Just take some clear packing tape and make an X across the bottom, and then find a plastic bag or a piece of cardboard to stick inside to prevent any sticking. Hopefully you guys can see this. Oh, never mind, I got short arms. And ta-da! It's a lot more secure than you'd expect. And now we can fill it. Not gonna lie, this is a little big and in the way. I'm gonna take it down for a minute so I can share some ideas with you guys. All right, so, ow. <laughs> so last year when I gave the kids their Bee Butts hot cocoa, I chose to swap out one of our regular traditions and just, you know, add my hot cocoa to it. So instead of just opening their PJs and watching a movie like we typically do, I ended up putting their PJs, a movie, popcorn, hot chocolate, and a few little trinkets like a last minute craft kit and a small toy in there so that they could enjoy it all together, but also open a cup. Woo! So that's what I'm gonna be doing today, but you could easily just change out the items to make whatever you want. In fact, it doesn't even have to be a cup. You can literally just make your own present box. I mean, that's really what this is, but I'm adding my face. So because I'm doing a night before Christmas, I'm going to need some night before Christmas-y type stuff. Not nightmare before Christmas, just night before Christmas. First things first, Jen discovered new moosh moosh. <laughs> You may already know this if you follow my community posts, but uh, there were a lot, and now I have seven. So in order to have a reason to have the rest of them, and also because I think they're fantastic, I bought two more for the kids. So if you've never bought a moosh moosh that wasn't already on a shelf, then you might be surprised to learn that they come vacuum sealed. Easy transport. So let's add some air. Also, if you're new here and you have no idea why I'm so excited about moosh moosh, then you should check out the links in my description to enjoy those videos, because moosh moosh is my life. Anyways, right now this looks kind of like a big squashed whale, right? Maybe it's a beluga. That's still a whale. I don't know. But this is actually one of the new squared moosh moosh. So I'm just gonna puff it up. Because they come vacuum sealed, they're squashed and compressed. But if you puff it up and show it some love, you'll be able to add air back to the filling, which ends up giving you a nice squared shape. So if you ever find a flat moosh and you're thinking it's a little, ah, just show it some love. <laughs> Anyways, because I'm me, I gotta quickly check to make sure that this is defect free. Otherwise, why would I gift it for Christmas, right? This is Bonnie, by the way. She's light blue all over with yellow and purple hearts and stars. And nothing looks like it's peeling off and her embroidery looks fantastic. So now we just gotta shove her in our cup. I aerated it for nothing, basically, I'm aware. Luckily, she's like a cat. She just takes on the shape of anything you need. She's so squashed and happy. Next up, we're gonna need some new PJs, right? So I've got a really cool pair of video game pizza skull and crossbones pants and shirt. Add that. Notice how nothing is coming out of the bottom. Excellent. And next, because education is everything, we're gonna add a book. Make sure it's face up. Nope, hold on. <laughs> yeah. Uh, next, I'm gonna add a Christmas mug with some marshmallows and two packages of hot chocolate. Because in order to make the best creamy hot chocolate, you need two. True story. And no marshmallows, but some people like them. So let them be happy. And then popcorn and a movie. I just misplaced my movie, but it will be going in there. I do want to mention, I did intend to give the kids both their very own Bee Butts Hot Cocoa Mug because they are available for purchase at my shop. The link is in the description. But because I'm in Canada, they're not going to get to me in time. And I wasn't smart enough to actually think of that sooner. So they are there and they're pretty stinking cute. But for now, at least these are pretty cute. And this is getting too tall for me. So I'm going to add that. Next, I'm going to move on to this, which is an item that was sent to me for free so I could review for you guys. So these are tubs and they are cosplaying ducks. And currently I believe you can only buy them online at their website, which is tubs, T-U-B-B-Z dot com. Based on what I've seen in the pictures they sent me, they looked really cute and had different video games that I love, like Crash Bandicoot, Spyro, Street Fighter, Fallout, and a whole bunch of others. And I was pretty excited, so I was like, yeah, send them over. Let's see what they're like in real life. So it looks like I have Crash Bandicoot and... 
Vault Girl. We've got one piece of plastic, the lid pops off, and it's got all the name and insignia for the character. And inside, we have our rubber duck, and he is Crash Bandicoot. He doesn't smell funny, and his paint looks pretty good. He's really cute. I'm not really seeing anything out of place, which makes me happy, because I know the price point is gonna be pretty high, from like 12 to 14.99 or 16.99. Don't quote me, I can't remember right now. And uh, yeah, you want things to look nice when you're paying for them. Inside the tub, there is a plastic tub to help secure your duck, and the outside side of the tub matches whatever theme of the character you got. So in this case, it's orange and says Crash Bandicoot. Now the only problem I'm seeing is that the inside of the plastic gets quite a bit of streaky paint on it from what I assume are the parts sticking off of the character. So hopefully a little bit of acetone will take that out so that your display case looks better for displaying later. Moving on to my second tub's duck, we have Vault Girl. Oh, and the inside is filled with yellow paint streaked all over. So once again, it looks like the parts that are sticking off are in fact touching the plastic, which kind of ruins it a bit. We've got an army green bathtub that says Fallout, and our Vault Girl Duck. She is mostly yellow with a blue outfit, a cute little orange quacker, which is obviously a bill, and everything on her looks pretty good, excluding this yellow line on the front of her. It has scratched off paint. I'll make sure to take pictures and add them to Instagram so that you guys can see what they look like, and I'll make sure to do that before I permanently seal the top of my cup with tape. Obviously, I still have to add my movie. Pop that in. Speaking of movie, once I add mine, this one will be full and done. At this point, all you would do is fold down your excess paper so that all your gifts are covered. Also, feel free to wrap anything inside that you want for a surprise feel. And lastly, you take that strip of Bristol board that we saved to wrap it around the top. And I'll show you on this side, just so that you don't get alarmed, that it is not going to meet up. So what I do is use the leftover paper from the logo printout, fold it in half a few times so that it's nice and thick, and just fill the gap. As long as you're keeping all the messy bits at the back, no one will ever notice. The best way I've found to make sure that everything looks nice is to make a few tape rolls and stick them on so you can find a nice level position before stapling it or taping it down. At this point, you can see that my cup looks pretty fantastic, but there are a few other things you can do to it if you want it to look cooler. Obviously, I have not completely sealed mine yet because I'm still missing my movie, but yours at this point would look sealed and covered with whatever you chose to use, whether it was brown paper or a piece of cardboard, or hey, you could even use that tissue paper I showed you earlier and fluff it up and make it look like whipped cream. But uh, I'm not done yet. So I'm just gonna put this one down for a minute, quickly make my daughter's cup, and then show you what I'm gonna put inside there. My daughter's cup is done. It is beautiful and purple and gold and is all things Jasmine and Aladdin. And I did it the exact exact same way as the first one, except this time I tried to taper the bottom a bit more just to see what would happen, and the end result is more of a cup-like shape. I'm gonna put this down so we can check out what's going in it. Starting with a moosh moosh. I really do have shopping problems. And now, we add the air. Ooh, static. So this here is, what's the name of this one? Jewel, a rainbow colored unicorn with white stars all over, white ears, and a metallic horn. Check to make sure everything looks good, and it does. Hold on, we need a squish test. Oh uh, yeah. Oh yes, so mooshy, mooshy, perfect. <laughs> I'm happy to report that everything looks great on her. She even has little star freckles. Bye-bye, Jewel. Do -do -do. Let gravity take over. Next up, we have our PJs, and these ones are super cute. They've got some minty green pants and a matching shirt. Don't know why I'm showing you clothes, but I did. Next, of course, we need a book. Gotta promote literacy. Great stuff. Then our mug, two hot chocolates, and the marshmallows. <laughs> Can't forget our popcorn, of course, and our invisible movie. <gasps> And then she'll also get two little toys. I've never actually seen these before or tried them, so don't ask me for a review, I can't give you one. But you can tell me if they're any good or if they're gonna be super messy. They are sweetlings, and I got one little owl and a donut, and I guess she's gonna frost them and create her own friends. So, boop, boop. And yeah, that looks good to me. Sometimes I add crayons and a small coloring book or a little Kinder Egg or something like that, but to be honest, those look pretty good as it is. So I'm just gonna leave them. And that's the end of that. Wah! Hello! And there we go. We have two completed Bee Butts Hot Cocos. Obviously, you could take it upon yourself to make anything you want in any shape you want, but I think these are pretty cute. In fact, so cute that last year when I made it for that comparison video, a lot of people asked me if I would make them one, and obviously I can't because how the heck would I get it to you? So in the end, I decided to make this video to show you how to make one for yourself. Now, both of my kids are gonna be super happy, and I know for a fact my husband is not gonna care to open one, but I like to open things. The problem is the stuff I'd like to find inside my cocoa cup won't fit. So I'll just move these out of the way. 
I guess I'll just have to show them to you and we can pretend that I got them in one of these. Ta-da! Not gonna lie, there are a lot here and I don't plan to open them today, especially because they're supposed to be my Christmas presents. So you'll have to keep your eye out on my Instagram after Christmas to see what I thought of them. But I did wanna make sure you guys knew that I got them all, especially since so many of you gave me tips on where to look, which involved my good friend Duke doing some shopping in the States for me. Thanks, Duke. Jen's gonna have a Merry Christmas. Doesn't matter if YouTube sucks. <laughs> Oh no, there's no more space for me. Hold on, hold on, there's more, there's more. Ready? Doo -doo -doo. I'm fully aware that some of these little ones are the first season, but I just wanted you guys to know that I completed it now because I found them all at the dollar store for $4 each. Woo! And then the new lockets with keys. Aren't they fabulous? You know what, I'm so happy I'm just gonna end the video like this. If you know somebody who would enjoy watching this video to make a craft because they like crafting, then please share it with them. You can't see me. And if you enjoyed it yourself, then please make sure you remember to comment, like, and subscribe. You can let me know down below what you liked or didn't like about the craft, if you think it was too crazy and over the top, or just perfect. And if you do decide to make one and you feel like it, tag me on Instagram so I can see all your lovely creations. As always, thank you guys so much for watching, and I'll see you in my next video. Bye!